I've said it before, I'll say it again. Air fryers make cooking fun. And it's because they take so many of the headache out of, say, getting oil hot or, or, or the grill hot or, or so many different things to do something like fish tacos, which is what we're about to do. We're going to do street fish tacos, which will be something similar to what if you've got a food truck you follow around, I promise you, if you try this recipe, you're going to find it is really, really close, and you do it at your house in your air fryer. Now, I'm using the Ninja Foodie XL Pro air frying oven, but you can use any air fryer you got. I'm John Sanders. I'm also known as Jelly007, but let's uh, air fry some street tacos uh, out of some cod fish right here at home. All right, here is everything I'm using. I'll start off with showing you the cod fillets I'm using, and I got them at Sam's Club. Uh, they're really good priced fish, and I love them for fish tacos, but there's plenty of other types of fish you can use. Uh, I got some cilantro. I've got aroma tomato. I've got purple onions. I've got the uh, uh, avocado purple cabbage, and uh, uh, like here's flour street tacos. I personally like white corn tortillas and I've even got those in two different sizes and then you see I've got different sauces. You can go as far with this as you want or nowhere near this far and uh, it, right there's what I'll be putting on them and that is McCormick Street Taco Baja Fish and that's just one I like. I mean there's some others on the market no doubt but uh, that one is one I've tried and I, I do like it. So I'm about to get these right here opened up. I'm going to clean them off a little bit and get them cut into the sizes that I'm going to cook them at, and uh, then I'll start getting some of this done. So I'll bring you back when I get ready to put those in the oven. See you then. Okay, I wasn't sure if I was going to show this or not, but I do want you to see something. You can see that right there, if you like that thick of cabbage, that's fine. But otherwise, if you just push your blade against that, it's kind of, I call it angel hair, <laughs> and uh, you kind of get a lot thinner that's easier to chew, and uh, stuff like that. And that's kind of what I'm aiming for. But I mean, there's nothing wrong with that by any chance, by any means. But you can see, you kind of get it a little bit thinner and that's what we're gonna do in hours right there. So I gotta get some other stuff done, but I'll be back. All right, I got a few things done. I got uh, some of this cut up because, just because I'm videoing, normally I would have done that while it was cooking. But just, just so you know, also, uh, I don't know if you noticed a while ago, it's 2.22 pounds, and uh, this uh, packet of seasoning is good for uh, one pound of fish. It says it uh, right there, about one pound, it says. So I'm going to cut off enough, like I said, about, you know, maybe four pieces right here, what I think is about half of that. So I'll have like one, one pound of fish. And then here is the Cotija cheese that uh, I'm using, and it's real similar. It crumbles. I put it in this bag so I could crumble it like that, and it's real similar to, say, uh, a feta cheese, and it just kind of breaks up. Now, it's, it's got a strong flavor. It's really good. I love it. It is stronger. You want to taste it before you use a bunch of it. I'll put it like that. It's got a strong flavor, but this way, I'll only break off what I need, and then I'll, I'll put this in the bag with it so I can keep up with my dates and all, and you can see it's not the cheapest cheese you can buy. But anyhow, I'm going to get this cut up, uh, get a little more of that crumbled up, and we're going to get ready to uh, put the seasoning on that fish and get this started. So I'll see you in a second. All right, I've got the four pieces of fish I'm going to use, and there's what the, uh, the mix looks like. All I'm going to do is lay it in there and kind of roll each piece around a little bit and then move it to my broiler pan, which I've already got uh, uh, coated with uh, avocado oil, which is what I'm using. I've already, well, I should say that too. I've sprayed the fish with avocado oil, and that's why it's sticking. So I'm just going to go with that right there a couple of times on them. And uh, it works. It works well. You, it, it, if you don't get it completely covered, it's not a crisis. I do try and get it on there best I can. But you get the point. All I'm doing right now is just getting it on here, and getting it moved to here, and getting a coating of the Baja fish 
mixture on it. But anyhow, I'll get this right here done. And then we're going to let them sit a minute. Just, just so you'll know, I, I've got another pack of this seasoning, but it got real close to uh, not being enough. But what I did was I took uh, the ones that work in Cody real well and kind of transferred a little bit. And I think it's fine. I'm, like I said, I'm not going to open the other pack. But uh, normally I do two. I've, only, I've never done four at the same time. This is the first time I've ever done four. And normally have a little bit more on them. But we'll, we'll see how this is going to work. In fact, I am going to preheat. We'll hit that right there. I'm going to take it to air fry. Uh, air fry, what, 390 is what I did the last ones on. I'm going to leave it at 20 minutes because I'm going to be checking with my thermopen. It, it will not need uh, 20 minutes. But anyhow, we're off and running. I'll be back when it gets preheated. It has preheated and started counting down. I'm, I'm going to go with that right there. It's on rack number three, which is what it asked for. We're on air fry. I'm gonna go ahead and put the time to 20, just so it's an even number that I can kind of keep up with, no other reason. And uh, we're gonna keep an eye on it and do some checking with the thermopin in just a minute and see how it's looking. Be back. All right, we're about 15 minutes, so I wanna check it right quick. Let me just out of the way. So we're gonna take a look and see where we're at. Hopefully you'll be able to see it. Let's see. 143. Oh, that is really close right there. 143 on that one. This one's probably a little closer. 160 on that one. So we're good on that one. Once, yeah. Uh, we'll, I'm gonna check that back one. 132, 131. I'm pulling the front two and uh, Leave the other two for a minute. So, actually my plate's in the wrong place, but that's what I, that's why I put, I try, I actually I try to put thinner ones on the front. And uh, I'll get these straightened up a little bit, but right now, I'm gonna get those back in there. I'm just gonna let them run just a minute longer because there's already carryover going on. That, that fish will be done way sooner than you think all right for the record we'll see where these are while those as a matter of fact i'm not going to let them go much further 155 158 but i mean I, the lowest number i saw there's 155 this one and uh i don't know how there's 152 i don't know how critical you are with your fish but once you go very far past that they do start drying a little bit but they do get firmer so there's a there's a trade-off but anyhow I'm about to check those here in just a second. As a matter of fact, let's just do it. We will know right now, because it's already been a full minute or so. And I'll be good with 145, and we are 148 right there. Uh, we're gonna be good, I'm sure. 144, 143. I just didn't want a 130 number. That's really what I'm trying to avoid. 147, 146. And uh, the, the truth is, I'm okay with 155. I, I'm not going to let those go to it. But, uh, you know, they, they do get a little firmer at that point. So I'm going to get these off the heat. I'm trying to do them a little bit slower than I did those last ones. <laughs> uh they caught up with me a little fast. They, they, I couldn't believe how much time had passed, in other words. So I'm going to get these turned like this. I'm on a, I'm going to get some things done. We're going to let them rest a minute. And uh, we're going to make some tacos up. So I will uh, see you on a second. All right, just so, just so you can see exactly what one looks like, because I'm fixing to make up a couple of tacos for, obviously, my... YouTube pictures, but just to see how flaky they are and how it looks inside and still to make sure you can see what I'm doing. Uh, there it is. And whoops, I like to miss the camera. <laughs> that is uh, as as good as it gets. I mean, you don't get any flakier and I ain't got to tell you how juicy it is. You see the, uh, the, the liquids running off of it. I mean, it is, and it's not nothing but perfectly done fish. 
and it has an excellent flavor and I love it for fish tacos. Uh, I think, I, I really think you would too. And uh, I'm going to, like I said, uh, break up a couple of them just like this right here. Um, you can either chop them up or just break them down like that right there and then put them in those taco shells and I'm just going to keep doing it where you can kind of see exactly what it looks like. But that, uh, that, that right there, again, I got, <laughs> I have my camera set up a little different than I thought, but you can see that right there. Well, it just does not want to focus, but that right there is as good as it gets as far as being done. And that's a 150 degree fish. Nothing wrong with it. And uh, although sometimes I take them a little further than that, I do, but it doesn't need it. You can see. But sometimes I'll go to a 155, 160. It just makes them a little firmer, but you can see there's nothing wrong with that right there. So I'm going to get some tacos made up, kind of get them dressed up a little bit, make some pictures, and uh, I'll come back in just a second. All right, I just wanted to let y'all see one that put together i mean you know i'm gonna do more and for my thumbnails and all but i wanted you to see that and that is uh this this baja fish street taco seasoning it it really works well you can see how it looks on the fish and uh it's just good and then here's what i do with my shell or my tortillas is i put them in here uh, there's a those are corn and this is a flour and I put them in there at 200 degrees and uh, on reheat and just let them get warm. And it, it works absolutely excellent. You can see this fish is, it looks good. Take my word, it tastes good. Uh, and then you can put whatever you want on yours. You know, ain't nobody got to tell you what to put on yours. But I mean, you can see what I like. Uh, this Cotija cheese, I highly recommend it. It's, it's a strong, it's got a lot of flavor to it. I'll put it like that. I really like it. Of course, avocados, limes, uh, cilantro, I believe that's got to, you got to have that. But I could go on and on. You know what you like on yours. But this right here, this little street taco, it will be a hit at anybody's house. I guarantee it. And uh, they're excellent. But anyhow, <laughs> got a mouthful of food. Hey, I love y'all all. And uh, try some fish tacos in your air fryer, whatever kind you got. You can hit me with a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that, too. Hey, y'all have a good night. Come back to see me. Love y'all all. Bye-bye.